Hi everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be unboxing and showing you this Joy Nitro stroller. I purchased this from Argos UK. For my UK viewers you'll know Argos. I found this to be cheapest on Argos. I did have a look at other websites but Argos are selling this the cheapest at the moment. I'll leave a link below this video for the stroller where I found it the cheapest which was Argos. So let's get into the unboxing. The box is huge, I'll just show you. It's a very, I can't actually fit it in this shot because um, it's over one metre. So straight to what it looks like out of the box, you just slide it out and there's lots of different parts. Here's the hood, then the rain cover. Okay, so I've got the front wheels on now and the back wheels is all put together. But I will just show you something on the back. So I was struggling to work out why the pram, like the structural bit, kept trying to fold in. That's because you have to press this grey footstep, I don't know what it's called, this grey thing down to keep it secure. And then obviously when you want to fold it, you have to press that. And I'll, I'll show you that once I'm out and about. And um, But yeah, just for the setup, I didn't know why it would, wouldn't stay in place, like why the structure kept wanting to fold in that was why it's also laying flat so i think i have to at the back clip it or something i need to pull that because it's currently in the recline position so i i need to pull this oh there we go oh that's clever it's like a drawstring i'm not sure what you call it where you like hold and pull to keep it more upright that's it Wow, very nice. And I think it unzips. Does this one unzip? No, it doesn't unzip. That's a shame. I think the Joy other ones, they are like extendable hood. I need to velcro at the back as well. There's a velcro bit here. And I like the branding, the leaf at the back. You can see that. That's smart. Then there's a velcro bit here. So this bit just velcros on. So that's what it looks like. See, there are a few gaps, but I just need to take my time to figure that out. But yeah, it was as quick as that. I will show you now some shots of me using it, give you my impressions using it for the first time, how it compares to my other prams. Um, yeah. Okay, I've had a slight problem um, before even getting this outside with these different heights where you can put the seat belt. I took it out of the bottom one and went to put it in the middle one and it actually won't go back in. In And between the fabric is what looks like plasticky cardboard. If, you, if I just do that, you can see it's made out of this, I don't know what that's called, plastic coated cardboard or something. But I'm not too bothered about that. The issue is I can't actually get this back through there. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm trying to line it up and push it through and it's like it's too big for the actual slot and i don't know why because it shouldn't be or i'm i'll try the other side so that's i just don't know what's going on so trying again push it through it's not i don't know why it's really not going in and out of the thing i'll be back in five minutes and let you know if i manage to get this up and running so success, I managed to do one side and what I did is I, I put it through the fabric first and then I felt around and put the actual thing I'll show you in sideways. You take it out like you have to do it layer by layer. It's really not that straightforward. I was relieved to see it has also adjusters here so I have that option because I wouldn't want to be doing that every time I need to adjust the seat if my baby's got different clothing on and it's suddenly too tight or too loose so what you do is you put it through sideways and then see it's really not that easy then you have to feel around for the plastic cardboardy middle layer which i found now i'm trying to put it in sideways and it just doesn't want to go I've been here, this is the only bit that's taken a long time. I've been here for about 10 minutes doing this. Well, hey, it's through. There we go. Now, hopefully, my 15 month old baby 
fits the middle one and I don't need to adjust it again today. But yeah, that's it. That was the only slight struggle with this pram when unboxing it and setting it up. And I'll show you the back. So there was my hard work. <laughs> Managed to get them through to the middle option. And yeah, I will test this outside and let you know how I get on. Okay, so we've just left home. We're at the bus stop waiting for the bus and I've just used it. My first impressions, um, it's very noisy. It's not a smooth push like my previous Bugaboo Ants and the bigger travel system uh, prams. This one definitely rattles. I will show you that in a moment. But yeah, when you move it, if it's not a smooth ground, like this one's got little stones on, it makes a rattle sound. This bit of ground's smooth, so that's not as bad, that's fine. A little bit disappointed about that already, but you know, it's 70 pound, what did I expect? It's not gonna be a smooth mover like my previous Bugaboo Amp, which cost hundreds of pounds. But yeah, I'll show you it out and about in the town. I've also put some shopping bags on here. I've got something to return to next. Um, again, a little bit disappointed. I thought it would hook on easier, but it slides down. It doesn't stay on here. I have got one of these pram hooks um, that I bought before. So I'll be interested to see how it works with this pram. Um, it's kind of slid down as well. So I'm not really sure if it's great to balance shopping bags on. But I don't really want to balance too much weight on this pram anyway in case it tips as I have seen that happen before to a lady on the bus. Then in the little basket I haven't put much. So it very, feels very paper thin the fabric of the basket so I'm definitely not going to overweigh that like my previous baskets on my previous pram. Okay so we're in the mall and obviously this floor is very smooth and the pram moves really nice and smooth in here. It's brilliant actually in here but obviously smooth floor does help so we'll, we've reached next and yeah so far the first journey with this pram has been good Another great thing about this pram is I've been able to hook my handbag on, which is nice. It frees me up a bit more. And yeah, it's just a really smooth push. I'll try and get shot from the side. I'm still in the mall. And he's taken his first nap in the pram. There's no complaints there. It looks very, very comfortable. And the recline is nice. And it was easy to recline flat. And yeah, it's just, it's really nice to push on a smooth floor. It doesn't feel any different from my Bugaboo amp, which was very smooth and a lot more money. Um, I did alter the straps. That was again, quite difficult. And I still need to try and work the straps out because they just don't seem quite right. But yeah, so far so good. Like I've got some bags on there, his jacket. And yeah, it's a really nice smooth ride for a bargain price. So I'll just show you it in the mall here with nice lighting. See, it looks really nice. It doesn't look cheap, even though it is cheap. It's only £70. So, that's it. So I'm pushing it one-handed, but what I would say is um, it's just with this, it does go a bit wobbly, so it's better to use it as a two-handed push, just in case. Now I've got the rain cover on. It's just started raining. He's in the recline position. It's a bit noisy, I'm in the mall. But yeah, it started raining today, so I've got it all today. And we're gonna see how this works. It was really easy to put on, and it's felt crowed here at the bottom. And it's a good thing the Velcro is like attached to elastic, so he keeps moving his feet, but the rain cover still stays on. Okay, we're gonna try this now. But yeah, I like the rain cover. It also has a nice bit of fabric on it there. I think it looks quite nice.
It was very windy when filming this part of the video, but I was just saying that it doesn't stay down at the sides and I was pointing out how it's secured at the back here. So it has just come undone at the bottom there. I think that's because he's kicking his feet. How about this side? The side's still attached, so the elastic and velcro isn't that secure. Okay, so as you can see, he is bouncing his feet, and the rain cover has well and truly detached from the pram, which means the fabric part of his pram is getting wet in the rain. So um, it's not a great rain cover. It could have done with maybe a button closure rather than Velcro because he's able to undo it with his feet. Both of it, size, left and right. The Velcro is off. Okay, so as you can see, his lovely warm sleep bag isn't protected. I don't know why, but the rain cover is just too short for this pram. I don't know why they made it like that. His feet end up poking out. So here is another shot of the pram on a sunny day. So you can see a bit more what it looks like. Hmm. A slight downside to this pram is the sunshade. So the sun is on my baby's face, so he's covering his eyes, as you can see. It doesn't come over very far. As you can see, it doesn't really cover from the sun at all. Another annoying thing is the pedal. So as you can see, I've got boots that are light colored. So if I want to unstop it, I have to flick it up. And when I flick it up, obviously I get the dirt from the pedal on my boots. So I know most pedals are like that. They're designed like that, but it would be good if there was one you just like press, click on and off or something where you don't have to actually put your foot under and then get the dirt from the pedal on your foot. Cause look, now my shoe has got dirt on it. So I'm not sure if it's obvious on camera, but this is the most upright the seat goes. And it's still very far back. He's, I wanted strollers. I imagined he would have more independence in this stroller where he could sit forward and look around and explore the surroundings more. Um, but yeah, he, as you see, he's very far back. And I think he's gonna show you now that when he wants to sit forward, it's like he's struggling. He's pushing himself up and he's pushing the chair up with him. So if you want a stroller that's very like upright, this isn't for you. So if you see it from up here, even you can kind of see the most upright position is quite reclined back. So what he keeps wanting to do is lift himself from the chair, as you can see. There's like a space here. The chair really should be designed to be way more upright, but even in the most upright position, he's still wanting to lean forward and push himself forward. So I've done his straps a bit loose, so he has the ability to look forward and explore more. But yeah, this pram's really disappointing for that. I wanted a stroller originally with a bar across here so that he could hold and look out more and sit upright more. But yeah, this one just isn't upright enough at all. It almost needs to be, I'll show you, just like that much more forward because he really wants to sit forward, but it's actually like that, really far back. See, he's trying to get forward more. So today it's another day I'm filming and I just wanted to show you that I've put more weight in the bottom basket. I've been a bit brave and I've chanced it. Um, just because I don't want to carry the tea as the baby's out of the pram and I'm holding him so I had no choice but yeah seems to be holding it fine. However the basket on this stroller really isn't good it's so low down and then when you're trying to get items out it's really hard to find things and there's just not much room in there there's not much support it's just I wouldn't rely on it to carry any of your shopping and things. And now to how this pram works on the bus. Getting this pram on and off a bus is fine. However, when the bus moves quite a lot, like around a roundabout, it starts to kind of move off and the brake becomes undone. You do have to really hold tightly to this pram and be careful with this pram on a bus. In this clip, you can see I'm holding onto it tightly as it was starting to move off at the front. It was kind of moving towards the doors. So yeah, you do need to hold onto the pram at all times on the bus. Okay, so what I've done is I've created a sunshade myself 
from a scarf and I'm using these clips I bought off eBay. I did also tie it before I had purchased the clips. So that's what it looks like at the back. It's kind of, I've made it draped down a bit to keep out some of the wind as well. And it's quite a long scarf, so I had extra to drape down at the back. I'll pop the link to the pram clips that I bought as well below this video if you're interested in those clips. It's quite nice having a scarf as a sunshade as well. It just looks really nice when it's blowing in the breeze. And yeah, I already had this scarf, so I didn't have to spend any more money on this pram apart from those clips here. And I have also spent some more money fixing the rain cover so that it should stay down securely. And I'll show you that in a bit. And I bought these clips off eBay. I got like a pack of six or 10, so I've got loads of them spare in case we happen to lose them because as you can see, my baby likes to pull everything. He doesn't like to be still. Now, obviously it would have been ideal if the sunshade did just stretch over and I didn't have to spend extra money on these clips and tying a scarf over it but you know you've got to do what you've got to do if it doesn't have it you know and you can just make do and mend as you can see here this is how i've done the scarf and it seems to be protecting my baby from the sun really well however he does like to pull things so he has poked his head out around the scarf so hopefully it will stay attached and these clips are strong enough because if not i'll have to think of another way to attach a sun shade to this pram but there you go that's what it looks like that's just an idea you can use for these joy nitro prams because of the pram not having a sunshade well good sunshade built in already so what i did to the rain cover is i removed the velcro that was on it um i unpicked it with a stitch on picker then i added these stronger buttons i'll just show you what they look like they're these popper types and the set was called something like Camping Fasteners. This is the set that I purchased. It's called Press Fasteners. I'll leave a link to this set down below. And I did that on both sides, so that one. So my baby's got more of a task on his hands to uh, kick this rain cover off, because these look very strong. It's the first time I'm actually using it with those new fasteners. But it was very difficult to put them on because the set was really fiddly and not easy to put the buttons on like you get all these different parts i'll put a photo so i mean if you've got a shop nearby that would do it for you then i think that's probably better because it was a bit difficult and you need to have a hammer as well okay so my baby didn't manage to remove the rain cover this time with these buttons on i'm trying to find where i put it where are they are they here he wasn't really kicking that much and he's fallen asleep but yeah they've stayed on so that's an idea for this rain cover as you will find it just won't stay down so you can attach buttons like this and then you can use the rain cover another downside to this pram is if you're somebody that likes to drink coffee and push your pram at the same time this stroller really isn't good for that because basically it shakes so much so as you're holding your cup it goes everywhere as you can see it has spilled over the top and yeah it just shakes so much this stroller so anything liquidy that you have against this pram will likely spill over and cause a big mess i wouldn't even recommend those things you can attach to the stroller because as it shakes so much that would still not get rid of the shakes yes you would be able to pop your cup there or any liquids but yeah it would just shake so much that it would spill over so yeah look i don't really want to show you but it will spill so if I was to choose another stroller again before I bought this one, I wouldn't choose this one if I knew it would be quite so bad with teas and coffees because I do like to have my morning tea and coffee when I go for a walk with my baby and this stroller just creates a big mess with my portable coffee cups and the basket at the bottom doesn't even store it very well and if I was to put it down here I have done that it spills into the basket so that's just an added thing to be cleaning up which you don't want when you're busy with a little one so to put it down it's super easy you just pull this one up here one with your foot this gray one two and then you fold it forward you can still leave some items in the pram as well it should click on this part here and then you've even got a carry handle to carry it and put it into your boot or wherever you're taking it easily. And I'll show you those steps up close again now. So first of all you put it up here. Then you press this second one here, excuse my muddy boots. And then 
it literally falls down easily and then clicks here now you know it's in place and you've even got a carry handle there to carry it like so and it's as easy as that and there you go it's like a large umbrella it's called an umbrella fold and to pop it back up you want to unclip it here yourself manually put it up like that then straight away push this gray one down again excuse my boots very muddy and there you go it's done so that's all from me today i hope this video has been very helpful thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe see you all next time